Kerala and Malayalis have been a savior for me from the time I started this career. When my first film happened with Madi Sir, my shoot happened at Kerala. The first song happened in Kerala. My name is Madhavan, that I'm a Malayali. And then they saw, they thought that Kavya Madhavan was my wife. <laughs> so I want to show you Dr. Nambi Narayanan in Princeton, New Jersey, and you tell me whether he's good looking and better looking than John F. Kennedy or not. But you know what is this, the best part of doing this movie? When I went to France, when I went to Russia, Georgia, Dr. Naminaran, come, come, you can shoot wherever you want. They allowed us to go and shoot in their, in their space facility. So um, this journey started five years ago when I met Dr. Naminaran. When I came to Kerala, to, to Trivandrum to meet uh, Dr. Naranan, somebody had told me that there is a case of a, a good-looking rocket scientist who had an affair with a Maldivian woman and uh, he was arrested for espionage for giving secrets of Indian rocketry to uh, Pakistan. And eventually he was arrested, tortured and almost killed and he came out and he was proved innocent. That's the only story I had heard about in Mumbai. And so I thought after Vikram Eda, this will be a good story to do something different from what I was doing. So with a very shallow added, uh, opinion, I came to meet Dr. Nambi Narayan. And I will never forget the first time I set eyes upon him because it changed my life completely after that. Because when I looked at him for the first time, I knew that this man was not about this shallow case. I was missing something. I did not know what it was about his story that I was missing. But there was a lot more to Dr. Nambi Narayanan than the case that he was being known for around India. In fact, nobody knew about Dr. Nambi Narayanan. <clears throat> when I started talking to him, even he was only talking about the case. He was saying, this is, I was arrested like this. There was no... Uh, they, they, they could not prove anything. There was All the claims were wrong. And he was very angry. He was very upset. He was full of angst. And he was, he was hurt that somebody could throw this allegation on him. And I could see all that. And in the evening when he left, I was trying to figure out what I'm missing. But I had a good you know, story that I had heard from him. It took me seven months to write the script. I wrote the script. I came back to meet Dr. Nambi Narayanan here in Trivandrum and I showed him the script. He looked at it and he said, uh, everything is good, Maddie, but uh, this point is wrong because I was in Princeton, New Jersey doing, you know, working on the uh, instability theorem with uh, Dr. Professor Louis G. Croco. When I heard Louis G. Croco, I started sweating because he is known as the father of the uh, moon missions in America. He's a very, very renowned scientist. There's a theorem after him called the Croco's theorem. So I said, sir, how do you know, Dr. you know, Professor Croco? He says, no, I did my uh, thesis under him. Uh, that's where I learned the stability theorem. And I didn't know. Nobody knew that he had been to Princeton. He was the first Ivy League student. And he finished his thesis in 10 months. And slowly he taught, instead of the case, Nambi sir started talking about his achievements in France, in Princeton, in Scotland, what he, negotiations he did. Then Russia, the cryogenic engine. It was a baffling story that I have never heard. I didn't even believe it is true. And then finally, I asked him, I said, Sir, when, why were you not telling me this story? And you know what he said? He said, why? This, that is not a story. They paid me a salary. I did my job. And that is the day I decided to make a film on Dr. Nambinarayan's achievements and not on the case. Because a huge realization dawned upon me, which is the true patriots in this country. There are those patriots who are brave, who go ahead and say Bharat Mata Ki Jai and give their life for the countries and their sacrifice is unparalleled and all respect to them. But there's another different kind of patriot. The one who knows that nobody is going to praise him. Nobody is going to know his work. Nobody is going to appreciate him. They are not going to name a road or a statue after him. But him or her. But they still put their life online, take all the risks and do their job for the sake of the country. And the contribution to this country is unparalleled. And it is very unfortunate that somebody like Dr. Naminaran should, and what happened to him should happen in India because we are seeing the result of what happened. To, you know, we got pushed back by almost 20 years in terms of space research. So I made the movie for two reasons. One is a person like Nambi Narayanan should not happen to any country. Forget about India. It should not happen to any country. Because if you don't take care of the people who make you great, you cannot remain great. 
And the second reason I made is, as filmmakers, we all make, make big, big budget films on our freedom struggle and independence struggle and, you know, the, uh, the fight against the Mughals and other stories. But there's another field that India is really, really good at, especially the Malayalis and the South Indians, which is science and technology and IT and, uh, you know, medical sciences as well as space research. And we are renowned around the world for being the best in this. But nobody makes. When, when America makes a film called, uh, you know, uh, Steve Jobs or Apollo 13 or First, uh, um, First Man or any of these films, we believe that, oh, America, it's, you know, it, they are capable of making such great stories. But uh, we have better scientists and better professions even in India. And we don't make stories about them. You know, where is, where is the Sundar Pichai, Satya Nila, Indanavi? All these people from the South have done so well. From Arya Bhatta to everybody else, uh, you know, to Raj Raja Tolan. All these people have done extraordinary feats in science and engineering. So we should make films about them and we should celebrate these engineers. So to celebrate the technical achievements of, of our country and to know how good we are is another reason that we made the film. I had the good fortune of meeting my, my friend here, Vijay, and my brother. And... Uh, Vargis who, who who knew me and done and had uh, you know appreciated my work, but they were bigger fans of Dr. Nambi Narayanan. So when I told them that this is the movie I'm making, they jumped in and said, we are doing it. They didn't care about the money, they didn't care about the time. I cannot be more fortunate to have uh, you know partners and producers like the Mulans because even during the COVID, not once did they say, shall we sell the film? They all knew that it has to come in the theatre. So for two years, the film was ready two years ago. But for two years, they helped me hold on to the film. And now we are proudly um, presenting the film on the 1st of July. Uh, I have done my very best. We have shown it around the world. And we have got some very encouraging responses. So I am very, very thankful to the Mullins, to my other partner, the 27th Entertainment, who have stuck with me and believed in me as a director and as a producer and as a writer and an actor. And finally... I've set out to make the movie and it's ready for release and we have all your, I hope you have all your blessings and good wishes for the 1st of July. I'm, uh, I'm waiting for Simran to come but in the meanwhile, I'm really happy to answer any questions that you might have. The major part is not about his uh, struggle against the system. Okay. His biggest achievements, do you know why he got the Padma Bhusha? Uh, because of the theorem. See, that's what I'm saying. You don't know why he got the Padma Bhusha. That's why I made the film. That's his, my, my that's, only is, I understand this, but no ma'am, I just want to tell you that that is the major part of his life. One incident is the case and it lasted long and it ruined him. But that is not what Dr. Nambi Narayan is about. His achievements, now let me tell you what I mean by his achievements, okay? Why is his achievement so important? The, the reason that Dr. Nambi Narayan needs to be celebrated is because he made an engine called the Vikas engine. Do you know that? Okay, so do you know what the beauty of the Vikas engine is? Okay, the Vikas engine is a liquid fuel engine, and he's considered the you know the founder of the liquid fuel. And because of that liquid fuel engine, every mission in ISRO, you know, the missions might have failed or the satellite must have failed, but the rocket engine has never failed. It has a record of never failing in all the launches from the time it was uh, instituted till now, about seventy-five or seventy-eight launches, which is a world record by itself. It's unbelievable. It's a self-relying, self-rectifying engine. And no other person has been able to do it. In fact, it was used in the Mangalyaan. And the Mangal mission, the mission to Mars, all the other countries that became successful, they used three types of engines. The solid fuel, the liquid fuel, and the cryogenic. All three are required to travel for a satellite to travel for one year to go to Mars. India was supposed to get the cryogenic engine, and because of this case, they couldn't get it. So they used Nambi Narayan's Vikas engine and the solid fuel engine, only these two engines to become successful to go to Mars. And become that, that is the reason this achievement is so spectacular. If this achievement was there in any other country, he would have been celebrated like nobody's business. I mean, the Russians sent a dog to space and they have a, you know, a, a plaque for it, you know, a statue for it, a road named out for the dog. But we have, we have su such successful stories. And such amazing stories in Israel, and we're not able to celebrate that. All these technologies are a derivative of space travel and, and research. It's because of this research that we are able to keep human beings alive from 60 to 90 now. Medicines that take care of everything from diabetes to uh, dementia. 
And they're all a uh, derivative of what has been uh, uh, done in terms of research for space. And that has, that's how it's helped humanity so much. And in the, in the years to come, and much faster than you think, space is going to become a real uh, a, a part of everybody's life, your children's life, my child's life, because tr space travel is a reality. You know, finding minerals that are in uh, meteors which are around the earth, elements that are, don't exist on earth that can possibly save lives and save people's diseases, all that is a real possibility. So you have to be right up there. You know, the earlier kings who had control over the land, they were the rulers, they were the most powerful. Then the people who had control over the seas, that generation of people started controlling the earth. Then the people who had control over the skies, they started ruling the earth and becoming the most powerful country. But now it's space. And people who have control over space, the ability to travel there, and it is going to be in yours and my lifetime. When they have the control to travel that, that is going to be the most powerful country. And India is able to do that at much faster pace and, and a lower cost because of people like Nambi Narayanan. That's why he's a hero. So let's not make it shallow by saying case, case, case. It's a small part of his life. Even he, right now, he's been, he's been proved innocent. He's got, but even now he's saying India, India, let's go make another engine. Let's go make, make this travel possible. India is the best place to launch rockets from because we have 30% more efficiency when you launch rockets from India than from any other part of the world. That is the fight that everybody's fighting. He's moved on. How can Dr. Nambi Narayanan, being such a good looking man, uh, you know, and a genius and spectacular, you know, have you seen his picture when he's young? No? Have you any, anybody seen Dr. Nambi Narayan's picture in Princeton? You have seen, okay? I'm going to turn the lights off and I'm going to show you. You know what the problem was? They said, how can this man not have an affair? And I want you to imagine a good looking man. Dr. Nambi Narayanan is very good looking. In fact, he's better looking than John F. Kennedy. He's better. I'm saying now you build up your expectation. You think, oh, Maddie is lying. He's an idiot. Or there is a possibility that he can be better looking than John F. Kennedy. So I want to show you Dr. Nambi Narayanan in Princeton, New Jersey. And you tell me whether he's good looking and better looking than John F. Kennedy or not. Lights on, please. That's who we are talking about. That's who we need to celebrate. You know, what is this, the best part of doing this movie? When I went to France and I went to Russia, Georgia, and they said, oh, Dr. Naminaran, come, come, you can shoot wherever you want. They allowed us to go and shoot in their, in their space facility in France and Russia and other places because of the love and respect they have for Dr. Dr. Naminaran. I think we should show him that kind of love. My entire team from Murli to Prakash to uh, my, uh, you know, I had a lot of people from Kerala who had come, Nandan, who was my uh, AD. All their contribution without who this film is impossible. They are there, uh, and especially all the, uh, the the people who came from Kerala who were in love with Dr. Nambi Narayan, including Vijit, my editor, uh, my art, my direct, my my designer for the posters is Anup. All of them are Malayalis, and they are God sent. Today, if this film is getting any appreciation anywhere, it's only because of the contribution of this team that has stuck by me even through COVID. People have worked without salary through the COVID two years. You know, the people who are, I mean, uh, Rajesh Sir was busy shooting, shooting his films. He had a lot of films to shoot and he was very busy. But the rest of the people, they just, they had, they just stuck with me. You know, and it was very touching to see the uh, affection he has. And Rajesh Sir, uh, Rajesh Sir is the reason that uh, this film started because he has done an extraordinary interview with Dr. Nabi Narayan, which I saw. That interview is the reason I did the film. <laughs> Then <laughs> The Kennedy Pinida and Dieti Pakalu, the case of Pinida, Kutimite, quarter the verdict of one the Kalinapa, they have been an innocent discharge in the book. You'll say it would Malayali in the Leki, Rija Kanan and the Leki, even the other Saha Jedi. The Mumbai, 
ഞങ്ങൾ തന്നെ എന്ത് റിസ്ക് എടുക്കാനും സാധിക്കുന്ന രീതിയിൽ റിസ്ക് എടുക്കാൻ ഞങ്ങൾ തയ്യാറാവുകയല്ല കാരണം വി ഹാവ് ബിലീഫ് ഇൻ ഹിം അതിൻ്റെ പശ്ചാത്തലം കെ ഈ പ്രത്യേകിച്ച് ഒരു മനുഷ്യന് ഏറ്റവും കൂടുതൽ ഒരു പക്ഷെ ഇന്ത്യയിൽ ശാസ്ത്രീയ രംഗത്ത് ഏറ്റവും കൂടുതൽ ആദരിക്കപ്പെടേണ്ട ഒരു മനുഷ്യൻ ഇത്രയും കൂടുതൽ നീചമായിട്ട് ചായ് താഴ്ത്തിപ്പെട്ട താഴ്ത്തി ചവിട്ടി താഴ്ത്തപ്പെട്ടതിലുള്ള ആ വിഷമവും കുറച്ചുള്ള ഒരു മനുഷ്യനോടുള്ള ഒരു ആ ഒരു വിഷമവും തീർച്ചയായിട്ടും ഇതിന് പിന്നിൽ യുവർ ഫസ്റ്റ് മൂവി അലൈപായ് ഗൈ ഐ തിങ്ക് ദ ഷൂട്ട് സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ഇൻ കേരള ഇസ് ഫസ്റ്റ് ഷോട്ട് യാ എൻ എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ ദ ദാറ്റ് മൊമെന്റ് യു നോ ഐ ആം കേരള ആൻഡ് മലയാളീസ് ഹവ് ബീൻ എ സേവിയർ ഫോർ മീ ഫ്രം ദ ടൈം ഐ സ്റ്റാർട്ടഡ് ദിസ് കരിയർ ഓഫ് മൈൻ ഐ ഹവ് ഹാഡ് ദം ഐ മീൻ ഐ ലിവ് വിത്ത് മലയാളീസ് ഓൺ മൈ ലൈഫ് ബട്ട് when my first film happened with mani sir my shoot happened at kerala the first song happened in kerala and from that day in itself everybody used to think because my name is madhavan that i'm a malayali and then they saw they thought that kavya madhavan was my wife <laughs> so uh, it was uh, but they always showed the utmost respect and love for me i have uh, i've been so touched by uh, by the entire attitude of malayali is not only in kerala but i live in dubai right now even there i am madam jetta to them all my madi jetta is what they call me so i am eternally eternally indebted to everything that kerala and malayali have contributed to my life they've always been lucky for me my first film or short here as an actor and my first film as a director has been done as a pro among all the people in the world and all the people i've worked with it has to be another malayali family the mulans so um, i think it's a very lucky sign for me 